While you enjoy our morning ride on the interstate as we go to the 2019 Barber Vintage Festival, I need to explain. I'm not wearing earplugs for this ride. I have struggled for years to find both effective and comfortable earplugs that work for me and have always come up short. I've purchased the Schuberth C3 Pro modular helmet because I heard it was so quiet, and it was, but not enough to forgo wearing earplugs. Due to several dislikes with the Schuberth helmet, like it not being watertight around the face shield, I recently purchased and changed to the Shoei Neotech 2. Again, it's well suppressed and it is a quiet helmet, but not enough that you don't need earplugs for long rides. I'm sitting here right now looking at a pile of different earplugs that I've tried. I've got these Doppler Labs bugs looking things. Uh, I got a crazy pair of earplugs here. It looks like a Christmas tree you're shoving in your ear. I've got noise canceling earplugs. I've got some of these things over here. I think they're called Vibes. I, I, I don't even remember the name of all of them, but I've tried them all. And I end up coming back to this bucket of foam earplugs. And I, I've probably spent over $300 trying different earplugs in the past four years, trying to find something that works. The problem is they hurt more and more the longer I wear them. You see, I'm one of those lucky 3% of people that can use a Q-tip and touch the inside of my ear and start coughing. It's called Arnold's Nerve Cough Reflex. You can Google it. It affects a small percentage of the population. And the trouble is, while I can do that with a Q-tip, when I put in an earplug, it makes me cough a little bit just at first. But with the continuous pressure, it doesn't make me cough. It just feels like someone's touching me, like something's just touching the inside of your ear. But as time goes on, it changes from a dull ache to a little bit more pain to after about 45 minutes, it feels like someone has a hot poker jammed in your ear, twisting it while you ride, and my left ear is actually worse than my right ear. To cope with this, for any trip that's an hour or less, I don't wear earplugs, I just use the helmet. I know that's not the best thing to do, but it's what I have to do. And for longer trips, I use those expanding foam earplugs, but I only insert them about halfway. And this does prevent the pain because it doesn't reach far enough in to actually touch the nerve but it's not very effective hearing protection either. It's better than nothing, but I would say it really only cuts the noise down by maybe a third compared to using them properly. Now I've seen these custom molded rubber like earplugs before it shows, and they've always been pricey, somewhere between 50 to $100 for a pair. I've never been quite sure they were legitimate. Uh, you know, it just looked like a guy squirting something in your ear and charging you 60 bucks. But I did a little reading and there was a gentleman standing there that had been wearing them for several years and he had actually came back to the guy at the Barber Vintage Festival and was having a new pair made. So I talked to him a little bit and well, I finally decided to give him a try. So I laid out about 120 bucks, $60 a pair to have these custom molded earplugs made for myself and my son. Here's some earplugs. Look at the mirrors for you. Nice and clean, that's good. Nice and clean, that's great. Let's on this side, this will keep the silicone from going too far. Nice and gentle, nice and easy. Here we go. Let's put them here. Jump on the back. Want this foam on this side. What? Now what happens when you squirt it and it comes out the other side? It runs out his nose, we clip and leave it. <laughs> yeah, we don't do grouting here, so yeah, tightening up the rocks inside. This is just merely keep it from rolling out. Wow. Smooth that out. Make it look nice for a little divot on this side. You tell right from right. Pump your chair. You can have a seat. Relax. So here's what the earplugs look like. Kind of like 
chewed up old bubble gum. And if you look at the one here on your left, you'll see the end of it was kind of ground down. That's what he did to get it off the nerve in my ear. Made a big difference. The right one on the right side, the little dimple in it, that's the one for the right ear. And with a little practice, they're easy to put in. You just kind of turn them backwards as you put them in. They go right in place, twist them forward as you take them out, and they come right out. Now, I didn't rush right home and make a video about these earplugs because I wanted some ride time with them. It's one thing to wear them for 45 minutes or an hour. It's another thing to get on a motorcycle and actually ride for just over three hours here. And this is our trip home from the Barber Vintage Festival. We rode through the back roads through middle Alabama and we rode for about three and a half hours of actual ride time. I had a flat tire during this time and there's a different video about changing that. But what amazed me, this is the first time I have ever been able to wear earplugs and not experience some kind of pain because of it. I actually forgot the earplugs were in my ears and once they come up to body temperature, it's you can feel them if you flex your ears and as you turn your head, you, you know they're there, you can feel them. But when you get comfortable and just ride, you start to forget that they're even there. And I was really thrilled about that and I really enjoyed the ride back, uh, the, the long periods of riding without having to, to listen to the drone or my ears go numb. And also with loud noises, I have to be careful being exposed to loud noises for any period of time. Like, I would never ride without a helmet without earplugs uh, because my, my ears, I have an inner ear issue and, and long, continuous, loud droning noises, I start to experience dizziness. So it's important that I have some kind of hearing protection and this certainly is, is filling the bill. Now I talked to my son, his only comment was don't eat hot peppers and then wear the earplugs. <laughs> uh, I, I don't eat hot peppers anyway, so I, I'm not going to tell you what happened, I don't know, but he did tell me just don't do that and uh, made him a little uncomfortable there. But otherwise he loves the earplugs as well and he can keep them in his ears. We rode for hours. Since then there's been several other hour, hour and a half long trips that I've taken that I've been able to wear these earplugs. And for the first time, I feel like I actually have earplugs that I can wear and more importantly, that I will wear. So obviously not everybody can find in-ears sport. Um, you know, I, I encourage you to look them up. It's inearscom I-N-E-A-R-Z.com. And if you are in Florida or you can catch them at a show, we had a great experience with them. The earplugs have been great. But what you're looking for in general is an audiologist. You're looking for someone that deals with hearing aids quite often. And many of them can make these custom earplugs. You see what they look like here, so you know what you're looking for, what you're asking for. These ran us $60 a pair, custom made right there at the at the show and I guess it took him 10 minutes to make them and we sat there and then we came back and picked them up about 30 minutes later. So if you see them at a show, it, it, in my opinion, it's well worth it. I've, I've loved wearing these earplugs, but if you want a pair and can't get to a show or, or find a person doing it at a show like Mark was here, you can look for a local audiologist, ask them if they make custom earplugs, injected earplugs that might be something for you. And then, and this was a big sticking point for me when I was talking to Mark, I, I said, well, you know, well, what about, I, I get these, I wear them and this pain comes back and I can't wear them. And that's when he said, I, I know what's causing the pain and you come back and I know how to adjust them. You just tell me where it's at and he would adjust them. So make sure whoever you buy them from, uh, we'll let you bring them back and let them adjust on them a little bit and shape them when you tell them where you feel the pressure. That's what happened with me. I wore them for about 45 minutes around the show, and that familiar dull ache was coming back in my left ear. Now, it was nowhere near as bad as the foam earplugs or some of the other earplugs. It really was a mild, dull pain, less than if I had been wearing the other earplugs that long but I knew over time it would just build up. 
So I went back and, and told him what it was. He took the earplug and you can see in the picture where he shaped it a little bit to get away from that nerve. And when I put my left earplug back in, it was a world of difference. It was night and day. There was no pressure there at all, like I'm used to feeling. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to us if you want to see more. I'll be doing a little bit more. I, I guess this is a product review, but I only review things that I really enjoy and like. And I'll, I'll be bringing more of those uh, things that we use because I get questions about this all the time. We don't get any sponsorships. Nobody's given us anything. I paid for those earplugs. I pay for all the stuff that we have. And you know, I'll, I'll tell you that up front. If someone gives us something to review for free, then I, I'll tell you that. And I'll tell you the, the backstory behind it. But for right now, uh, enjoy, ride safe, and come back and watch our next video.